Hello, welcome. This is Sijish here and this video we will have a look into the security aspect of Cloudera Hadoop cluster. So we have already seen uh, how to implement security in Hortonworks cluster. Similarly, we will have the same or similar features available in Cloudera distribution also. So we can have a look. So these are the four different pillars in security. The perimeter security, access security, visibility and data security. So if you look into each pillar and we can add the security at each level so that we can secure the entire cluster. So in perimeter security, so we will have uh, authentication comes. So here we can add uh, Kerberos. Okay, so Kerberos will provide an extra uh, security, especially on authentication side. So it will make sure only the appropriate user will get into the cluster. Okay, so we can integrate Active Directory or LDAP with the cluster and also the Kerberos. So we can uh, do with either Active Directory or MIT or uh, free IPA version. And uh, for the Cloudera, so we have Cloudera Manager in place. So that uh, will give you a fully automated uh, Kerberos wizard. So it's easy for us to do the uh, Kerberos setup by using Cloudera Manager. And the second part is uh, auth authorization. So authorization will make sure whatever the authenticated users has uh, the proper access. So only the pro user on, or only uh, the whatever the user is intended to give the access only those user will have to get access so the remaining should not touch or should not uh, uh, view the data so for authorization so we have apache sentry in place but the sentry mainly uh, we can control the permission of hive or impala and uh, so hdfs permission control with the sentry is limited for hive uh, warehouse location and we have record service also but that is not matured and still in beta state and for hdfs uh, authorization so we have access control list in place okay so sentry uh, provides a role based access control and uh, we can control a hive table uh, and we can implement security at table level database level or even at the column level also and coming to the visibility, so we have a audit and lineage and for that we have Cloudera Navigator in place. But this feature is restricted to either Enterprise Edition or Enterprise Trial Edition. But Express Edition does not uh, provide this uh, feature. And we uh, Cloudera Navigator will provide you a centralized uh, auditing capability and end-to-end -end visibility. So we will have a lineage option also with Cloudera Navigator. So lineage is nothing but, so you, you can uh, get a graphical view like that shows uh, how uh, your data is moving from uh, one analytical engine to another and how the transformation is happen. And the last pillar is uh, like, uh, so encryption and data masking. So for encryption, we have a Cloudera Navigator encrypt and key trustee services available. And uh, so data reduction and data masking option also available along with the Cloudera distribution. So if you uh, enable security or if you enable it at uh, each pillar and uh, you can secure the cluster. And uh, so this is about the security and the tools available in Cloudera distribution. So I hope uh, you were able to follow me and uh, you have some idea. So how to secure a Cloudera Hadoop cluster. Thanks for watching this video. So please do subscribe to my channel. So I will be keep uploading lot more contents over time. Thank you. Bye.